Okay, so once you've taken some pictures with your digital camera, you're going to go ahead and connect the camera to your computer using your USB cable that uh, normally comes with the camera. And if you have Picasa open, you can go ahead and turn the camera on, and Picasa should detect that there's a camera connected, and it'll bring up the photos uh, showing you what's on the camera. There we go. So now these, uh, these pictures that it's displaying are currently on the camera and what we want to do is transfer them onto the computer so that we can work with them inside of Picasa. Uh, so first what we're going to do is determine which ones we want to import onto the computer. Um, for now I don't want any of these family pictures so we're just going to select the pictures and click on the little red X to tell Picasa that we don't want to import these. Okay, so here are the pictures of the artwork that I took, and we'll go ahead and look through these and decide which ones we want and which ones we don't. Okay, I know already this first one has a bit of glare on the left-hand side here, so I don't want that one. That one also has a bit of glare, so we'll deselect that. Okay, I don't like this one either. That one's okay, a little bit crooked, but I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. And we'll get rid of this one too. Okay, so now that we've made our selection, we're going to come down here to the left on the bottom, and it says Import to. This is telling it what folder on the computer we want to import the photos into. By default, it's selecting the Pictures folder, but I want it to be a little bit more specific, so I'm going to click Choose to choose my own folder and then we're gonna click on pictures and I've already made a folder here called artwork uh, if you'd like to create a different folder you can click on new folder and give it a name there I'm gonna hit cancel and we're gonna select this folder that I've already made called artwork and hit choose and now we can give it uh, another folder inside of artwork if you're gonna have uh, several different pieces of artwork that you're going to take pictures of, you might want to keep it uh, really well organized. So we can call this one Path and Trees. Or you have options here to uh, name the folder by the date as well. Or you can give it a custom name like I have. The next step is uh, telling it what to do with the pictures that are on the camera once it has imported them into Picasa. So you have three options. Leave the card alone. That's talking about the memory card. You can delete the photos that it copies, or you can delete everything that's on the camera. Uh, for now, I'm just going to select leave the card alone. Okay, and when we're done there, we're going to click import all. And if you have lots of pictures, it might take a couple of minutes, but since we just have a few, it's already done. And at this point, you can turn the camera off if you'd like. So let's go ahead and get started editing these pictures. Um, so what we can do is double click on a picture. And it's going to bring it up so we can see it nice and big there. And if you want to scroll between the pictures, you can use these arrow keys to decide exactly which picture we'd like to work on. And even though the colors look a little bit richer in this one, I think this one represents the natural colors of the painting a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and work on this one. And we're going to come over here on the left-hand column. And here we'll see the controls that we have for editing the picture. Now if you really want to take control over the editing, you can select the second tab here called Tuning. And you can adjust the fill light that's going to bring up the shadows, make them a bit brighter, or you can adjust the highlights, bringing the highlights up, or you can darken the shadows with this slider here, and then you can adjust the color temperature, bringing it to the right will make it warmer, or to the left will make it cooler. But we're going to leave all that alone for now, because uh, we're going to just try to keep things really basic, and so we're going to go back to the Basic Fixes tab on the left. And so we can crop the image if we want. You can just drag a rectangle like so. 
Uh, I don't really want to crop this one though, so I'm going to cancel that. You could straighten it if you don't want to do that, and you use this slider to rotate it, and then it will automatically crop it. I don't want to do that either. Um, there's also auto contrast or auto color, uh, but I prefer this uh, adjustment here. I'm feeling lucky. And what that does is the program automatically tries to determine what the best lighting and color is for the particular image. So we'll go ahead and click that, and as you can see, it does a pretty good job. And so that's a good starting point. If you don't like what it did, you can always come down here and click Undo, and you can undo any uh, edits that you've already made. But we're going to go ahead and keep that edit. You can also add some text if you'd like. If you want to give the, uh, the photo a title, you can click that text and then just start typing. Path and Trees. And then you can move that anywhere you want. So that's if you want to give the picture a title. And then when you're done, click Apply. Okay, so now that we have edited the picture, we're ready to go back to the library at the top left here. And let's just pretend that we've uh, edited three pictures that we want to upload now to the internet. We're going to go ahead and select those by holding down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC. And while we're holding that down, go ahead and click the pictures that we want. And now we've got some options here. We can either email them to somebody. We can click email here and decide if, if you use uh, Google Mail or sometimes called Gmail, you can select this or any other email program. Uh, so you can either email them, print them, uh, you can upload them directly to Picasso Web Albums. That's just a, a photo sharing website. And uh, Picasso Web Albums is integrated directly into this program. So if you don't already use something on the internet to share your photos and you uh, want a, a website to do that with, I would recommend doing that if you're going to use Picasso because it works very well together. Uh, if not, if you'd like to share them with Facebook or maybe Flickr or the Battleground Art Alliance website, you're going to click export down here at the bottom. So we're going to select that. Now we have some options here. We have a location where we want it to export to. Uh, let's just go ahead and keep it as it is. It's going to put it on the desktop. It'll create a folder called Path and Trees. Or we can change the name if we want right here. But we'll leave that alone. Now the size is important. Um, usually images on the web uh, don't need to be very large. So 800 pixels is a good size. Um, you could go up a little bit, maybe to around 1,000, and that's going to be uh, pretty much as large as you would want to share on the internet. And if you share on a, a website like Facebook, it's going to size it down anyway. So the image quality, we'll keep that at automatic. And we can also add a watermark if you'd like to kind of protect your image and uh, show that it's got a copyright, you can add your name there. And that'll automatically put it on the bottom right hand corner of the image. So when we're done there, we'll click export and it will process these three photos. And it's going to bring it up here. And then we can go ahead and preview those. You see the watermark is down there on the bottom. And we'll look at all three of them. So this is the one that we added the title to. So there you go. Now you have your three photos that are exported from Picasso. And you can now uh, take these and upload them to Facebook, Flickr, the Battleground Art Alliance website, or any other photo sharing website uh, that you might use.